Appalachian sunrise meets my skin. Even with my eyes still closed, I can feel it coming in. Golden, golden, I'll follow only golden. Golden, golden, golden things. in spring rainbow trout and hummingbird wing golden I'll follow you on the golden 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 things gold hair gold ring gold Feet step over Hi guys, welcome back to today's video. If you're new here, my name's Alora. I make motherhood and lifestyle content. I am a stay-at-home mom to two kids. I have my five-month-old right here with me, and I also have a two-year-old who is still currently sleeping, but I have a feeling he'll be up here really, really soon. If you have not seen my last video, go ahead and watch that. I will link in the cards above, but I thought I would continue on with some fall-themed videos, and so I thought I would show you guys my fall morning routine, and today is Today looks like a really good fall day. It's very overcast. It looks a little chilly outside. The leaves are starting to change in fall and it just feels very much like the autumn season. And I can't even describe to you how happy I am that we're here. I'm going to go grab my toddler and feed him some breakfast. And while he's eating, I'm going to read my Bible and drink my coffee. And this is just a word of encouragement for moms is that you don't have to read your Bible in complete silence and you don't have to read your Bible with no kids around you. This is one of those mornings where both my kids will be awake as I'm reading my Bible and I probably will be interrupted throughout my reading, but that's okay. Like still, prioritize it so read it and if you're interrupted here and there like that's okay that's being a mom as moms and like I feel like anything we do we are constantly being interrupted like we can't start a project and finish it in one setting without being interrupted a bajillion times so don't let noise or your kids discourage you from reading your bible they actually should motivate you to want to read it the benefit of them being up while you read the bible is it's a great example for them to see to see mom in the word of god is going to reflect so positively and so i always try to just kind of keep that in mind especially when i'm being interrupted so many times. And what I find just so beautiful is my son Caspian has been really interested in my Bible and he will open it and he'll pretend to preach and he likes to worship. And that's also an example of why taking your kids to church is so important because they see that and they may not necessarily comprehend it, but just being around it is such a positive influence in their lives. And Caspian has showed me that creation is meant to worship the Lord. It is within us to worship the Lord. I look at my two-year-old son, I see him worshiping and I see him opening up that Bible and I know that he doesn't understand exactly what's being preached, exactly what's being sung, but he knows that worship is good. And it just blows my mind. The Lord can use my son to teach me a lesson. It is just the most beautiful and humbling thing, like to have your child teach you the word is just, like you just can't put it towards. I just need to take a moment. Okay, we're good, we're good. I'm gonna go grab my toddler and we're gonna have a good day. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. 
you gotta pray. Side by side, our faces. Yeah, good. It's good. All the good times just begun. Um, we know what we have. Let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for tonight. Call us crazy, but things are finally right. I am going to go put Ellery down for a nap and her first nap is like the most vital nap of the day. Like if she does not get a good first nap, usually the rest of the day is a dumpster fire. Full transparency guys, when I put her down for a nap, I have been letting him watch Bluey. I am by no means an anti-screen time mom at all. Like I get it. The, honestly, screen time is what got me through my first trimester. Like if I did not have Bluey, I would have really struggled probably 10 times more my first trimester trying to find something to entertain him because it just was so rough. I do try to moderate though. I try not to give him too much screen time just because I want him to be creative and find things to do. And also full transparency, I am not done with my Bible reading. I got maybe a third of the way through. And so I, after I put her down for a nap, need to finish that up as well. Night. Before I sleep, hear the crickets, see the moon, side by side and through and through, no limit to what we can do. Cheers to all the moms who have already reheated their coffee this morning. Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight. Something I've learned with a toddler is to find little tasks for them and like make it fun. So something that he really loves doing is checking the mail for us. Recently I have been baking now that it's the fall season and the other night I was gonna make meatloaf for dinner and so I bring out one of my bowls that I usually make muffins and pancakes in and he pulls up a chair right next to me because he thought we were gonna like bake something. But it was like really cool to see him do that and to see that he wants to help me with these things. Just giving him these little tasks builds a lot of responsibility and I, I've seen such an improvement with him and just being responsible with things. For example, he likes to play with his magnet tiles and he will dump it all out and then when he's done playing with it, he'll put it back into the bin and put the bin away. It just blows my mind the capabilities of a two-year-old. Like we really don't give them enough credit. It's been a lot of fun seeing all the things that he's able to do by himself or with just like minimal help. And so checking the mail has become part of our morning routine. Oh, was crazy, but things are finally right. I just had to quickly put my hair up. I got this clip from the Dollar Tree, which it's really cute. My one complaint is it's not very tight. My toddler just casually destroying the place. We'll clean it up later. We'll clean it up later. I'm going to start homeschooling. I've mentioned in previous videos, homeschool is like maximum 10 minutes. It's not long, it's not overwhelming. It's very simple, just some counting, some shapes, maybe some colors. So today I thought I would be very fall themed and I'm going to grab my faux pumpkins that I have in front of the TV and we're going to count the pumpkins. And I'm going to introduce the number six. So you can count from one through five and I'm going to add another number. So after counting, we're going to do shapes and then I'm going to put the alphabet song on the TV and we're going to sing the alphabet. And that's going to be homeschool for today. Where do you say six? Good, six. Four, five, six. Pumpkin. That is a pumpkin. What shape? is this? Shape. What shape is it? Heart. Good, that's a heart. Can you say circle? A circle. Good, circle. E, e, e. It is now the afternoon, which means morning is now over and we are going to go eat lunch here really soon. I know I'm definitely hungry. I'm sure Casper's hungry. 
Ellery is still napping. Like I said, the morning nap is her most important nap. It's also her longest nap. So I'm sure she'll be waking up here within the next hour. It was a good morning, even though we didn't get out of the house or go anywhere. Like we had a good morning. It was so productive because we got up, we got dressed, we did a few chores and we are having a great day. And I call that a win. Before you head out, I would love to know what's your favorite thing about fall? Is it the corn mazes or the pumpkin patches? Is it the fall inspired coffee drinks or just those warm cozy nights inside? Like, I would love to know what your favorite thing about fall is. My favorite thing about fall would have to be all the colors of fall, the warm tones. I love expressing those colors in my home as well. And so I would say the colors, if I could also add one more theme, the pumpkin donuts that you get at like a farm or a pumpkin patch. They're usually only selling them for like two months out of the year, but they are the best donuts ever. I just want to thank you guys so much for being here, for watching today's video. And if you enjoyed this fall morning routine, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. If you are not already subscribed and would like to stick around, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below and I'll see you guys next week. Bye friends. Mm -hmm.